Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beninin. For today's video, we're going to be reviewing products from CeraVe. Today we'll be reviewing two sunscreens from CeraVe. They're both SPF 30, they're AM moisturizer. The first one is the Ultralight Moisturizing Lotion with sunscreen, and it's marketed for people with normal to oily skin, and it's supposed to have like a matte finish. The other one is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion with sunscreen, also broad spectrum SPF 30. This one is more for like normal to dry skin. Um, the first one that I showed you, that one is a chemical sunscreen and then the other one is a combo. So it has some chemical and some mineral filters. All right, so we're gonna start out with the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion first. Broad spectrum SPF 30. The active ingredients are homosalate 10%, muradamate 5%. I've never heard of that filter. Octanoxate 5%, octacrylene 2%, and zinc oxide 6.3%. They market this one as sort of like an everyday moisturizing lotion, you, you know, the final step in your routine. I picked this one up because a lot of you like sunscreens that are moisturizing enough to just wear it on its own. Um, you don't need to add an extra moisturizer underneath. So this is one that I picked up for you guys. It says it moisturizes throughout the day, helps to restore the protective skin barrier. It has three essential ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. You get three fluid ounces, which is about 89 milliliters, and it retails for $18.99. You can find CeraVe products at pretty much any drugstore. They also carry it at Ulta, which is where I picked mine up. It says that it provides you with all day hydration. It's not communogenic, so it's not supposed to clog your pores. They have invisible zinc technology, um, which is microfine zinc oxide that spreads easily and dries with a clear finish supposedly. Fragrance free to avoid fragrance irritation. It's also oil free as well. As always with these videos, I'm going to be testing out with bare skin and with a moisturizer. Um, for the other one, not this one, I'll also be testing it out with makeup and showing you it in different lightings. The first day that I wore this facial moisturizing lotion, I tried to wear it on bare skin because it is a moisturizer on its own, so I figured you could just skip the moisturizer and I put it on bare skin <laughs> and as you guys will see, it just, it was just peeling up like crazy. It was a hot mess. So I ended up trying to like brush it off, which is not good because I feel like you're just brushing product off and you're messing up like the SPF protection. So I tried to brush it off and show you guys what it looks like. The finish felt just like a moisturizer, kind of like a normal finish. It's not really glowy. It's also not really matte either, just that in between. But the peeling was just, it was just terrible, but I did push through and I wore it for two hours and came back and this is what it's looking like Yeah, the balling and stuff is still there um, I feel like when I touched my face it started to peel up even more felt the residue there But I don't look too oily like I'm just kind of shiny in my t-zones but in my jawline like it felt fine i feel like there was a slight residue like it felt a little bit oily on my hands and my fingers and it felt like it didn't fully completely dry down but it looked okay i don't remember if i tried reapplying with this but if i did i'm sure it was a hot mess and i'll insert the clip of what it looks like so the next day i decided i was going to try it with a moisturizer because i was like maybe it just needs something underneath to provide like the slippage i guess so i put a moisturizer on to put this sunscreen on top of it and again it peeled up it balled up it was very white adding the moisturizer didn't really fix my problem I decided to wash it off and try it again and this time I went ahead and I just kind of like patted it in because I thought maybe the rubbing was what was causing the issue so I like quickly spread it out and I like gently tries to tried to pat it in that kind of slightly helped with it but it still ended up peeling up like crazy and it was pretty gross to look at so <laughs> that also didn't work um as far as the cast because this does have zinc oxide in it to me there wasn't really much of a cast there was like a slight a very 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 slight to be blue hue depending on what lighting you're looking at with it in very slight i feel like i could probably get away with wearing it like that and it wasn't too bad but just the pilling so i'd say if you are my complexion you might see see it slightly and if you're deeper than me you will probably see more of the cast there that being said though this did not irritate my eyes it didn't cause any burning or stinging on my sensitive skin this one i would not recommend i feel like the pilling was a little bit too crazy there was a 
very, very slight cast. The finish, I think, is best for people with normal to dry skin. If you have oily skin, you might find that it's a little bit too greasy for you. I didn't feel like there was too much of a residue. Kind of a fail with the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Okay, the next one that I tried that I liked better um, is the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion with sunscreen. This is an SPF 30 broad spectrum. It's marketed for people with normal to oily skin. This one also has the three essential ceramides and the hyaluronic acid. Unlike the previous one, this one does not contain any niacinamide in it. And the active ingredients are avobenzone 3%, homosalate 10%, octosalate 5%, and octocrylene 2.7%. So a true chemical sunscreen moisturizes and helps restore the protective skin barrier. And it comes in a matte finish. That being said though, I personally don't think this is a true matte. It just feels like natural finish. It didn't really feel mattifying at all. So, but it also wasn't greasy either. So that's nice. You get 1.7 fluid ounces, which is less than the previous one, but the price is the same, $18.99 from Ulta. So this one is also supposed to be lightweight and oil free and not comedogenic. So it's not supposed to clog your pores and it is also fragrance free. I was actually able to do a full review on this one because it didn't pill up. First day I wore this, I wore it on bare skin, no moisturizer, I just washed my face and then put this on because this is a moisturizing lotion. So to me, it should be moisturizing enough. Um, and it was, I put it on, it felt really great. I feel like it blended very easily. It spread out very easily as well. It didn't feel too heavy or too like sticky or anything. I was able to spread it out pretty easily and pretty quickly without having to be too meticulous about like, oh, make sure you don't get it in your eyes or make sure you're patting or whatever. I was able to just slather it on and go. I wore it for two hours, came back, and as you'll see, I am slightly oily in my T-zone. I do have oily skin, so this is normal for me. And I was also outside on this day and it's pretty hot, so got a little bit sweaty, but not really. Um, so you'll see some oils in my T-zone, so that's normal for me, but everywhere else, especially around my cheeks and my jawline felt and my neck it felt really good um, it didn't feel greasy I didn't feel any residue whatsoever it really sunk in nicely the next day when I wore it I wore it with a moisturizer I don't think that's necessary because this is supposed to be a moisturizer but for those of you with more dry skin who need to kind of double up and it worked fine with the moisturizer I didn't have any issues with it breaking up separating, pilling, nothing like that. It went on just as nicely as it did on day one. So this will be able to wear nicely with other products, I think. Um, as you'll see, obviously I'm gonna have more of a glowy finish to it because I did put a pretty glowy moisturizer <laughs> underneath. So definitely not matte. And even more so because I put this on on top of a moisturizer, I feel like you would have been able to see it kind of start to mattify if it was really a mattifying sunscreen. But to me, it's really not. Um, it just felt like I was putting on a lotion. The last day I wore this one, I wore it with makeup. And as you'll see, my makeup went on pretty nicely. Um, I had a very good makeup day on this day. I didn't have any issues with it separating. I didn't have any issues with it building up around my nose or cracking or anything. So makeup applies really nicely with this. I really enjoyed this one with makeup. I wore it, my makeup, I think for two hours, came back showed you what it looked like again oily in the t-zones but great everywhere else overall i actually had a very surprisingly good experience with this so the ultralight moisturizer it says it's for normal to oily skin i personally think that it could work for all skin types because it's not like a true matte there's no white cap so it should work for all skin tones it didn't cause me any irritation for my sensitive skin no sensitivities and it's fragrance free, which is great. Also, this one does not irritate my eyes. So this is one that I will definitely be reaching for again. I feel like I can use it now in the summer when I'm really oily, but I feel like I should also be able to use it nicely in the winter as well because it's moisturizing enough. And I'll probably end up wearing a moisturizer underneath in the winter when I become a little bit more dry and combo. So love that I'm able to wear it all seasons most likely. I will update you guys on that obviously. So very pleasantly surprised by this. This one, hot mess garbage <laughs> so that's it for today's video if you guys have tried any of these sunscreens let me know if you love them let me know if you hated them also let us know your thoughts down below if you like this review and you want to see more of them from me please give this video a thumbs up it really really helps my channel and i'll see you guys all in the next one bye